I want to compliment you. I, I, I don't, I, I've known you for a long time uh, and, and we've worked together a little bit and I've always thought you were hilarious. And I watched your Netflix film uh, last night and I started to watch it by myself. And this movie starts from the get go, like the firing gun starts, you show up, I think 30 seconds into the film. And I was laughing so hard that I paused it and I went and found my wife and I said, you have to watch this with me, Aww. it's that funny. And so we went back to the start of the movie and you just kill it. You are so funny in this movie and I'm so happy for you because I really do think this is one of those performances that's going to change everything for you. And I'm, I'm really happy. Oh, thank you so much. That's so nice. Yeah. And I, I think, and I think coming from me, um, <laughs> <laughs> we all know the power, Lauren, that I uh, wield in the business. This is huge for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like Spielberg in, uh, you know, 87. You know? <laughs> it's the equivalent, because that's the, oh, you, this changes everything. But no, it was so funny, and you were so funny in so many different ways. And I was remembering that the first time I saw you was in a little improv show for kids called Story Pirates. Yes, yeah, we got to do that together. I mean, you didn't get to do it with me, but I got to do it with you, and it was very exciting. It's this theater company in New York and LA that takes stories written by children and adapts them into sketches and songs. And it's really fun and like really high quality kids entertainment. Um, yeah. And I used to be in that theater company in New York and LA and we did a show at the Geffen and we had you as our celebrity guest and it was so fun. And you, I think you sang a song about wetting your pants, which- Sounds like me. <laughs> That's an old Gershwin classic, by the way. <laughs> uh, the Wrong Missy, I think is one of the most popular films on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, this is a big deal for you. Yeah. And this is through Adam Sandler's production company, this film, and Adam Sandler's the executive producer, and uh, Adam's wife is in the film, and then I notice, and, and she does a great job, but then I notice there's this really, there's this moment where your character loses it, can be incredibly foul-mouthed, can be incredibly <laughs> foul in all these different ways, and it's hilarious, but there's this moment where you're yelling at these kids when you show up at this resort in Hawaii, and I notice that the kids are Adam's kids. Yeah. And you're being really, and I'm like, was Adam on set when that happened? He was there that day, and it was kind of like, it was interesting because I think for a little, like a little bit, I felt more pressure because he was there, of course, and like, I, you know, I like him, I admire him, and I'm like, oh, I have to like perform on in front of him, but then I also have to scream at his kids. And um, he just told me to go harder. He was like, just scream, just swear at them, just go, like, just come in hot. And I was like, okay. And, and they liked it, they were, they were great, but. <laughs> oh no, they, I'm sure they got it, but do you, do you sense in a weird way that Adam was using you to vent anger at his <laughs> Yeah, that was really clear actually. <laughs> and that maybe possibly that was the reason the whole movie existed. <laughs> Just to have that one scene. <laughs> There's a part in the movie uh, where you get fish chum, just chopped <laughs> up fish parts thrown in your face and it looks really disgusting and they mm -hmm. sell it really well. And I thought, what? It, it, I'm just hoping that that was plastic and fake and not real. I have to tell you it was 100% real um, because, <laughs> well, actually it was supposed to be fake, but then the prop guy told me like the day before, like he pulled me aside and he was like, hey, um, that that fish, I was supposed to get this like fake fish and it didn't arrive in time. And so I'm like, I'm gonna use real fish. And I was like, hey, yeah, yeah, cool, like, that's funny. And he's like, no, I'm like, I'm, I'm dipping it in lemon and I'm trying to make it smell good and I'm taking all the bones out, but it's gonna be real. And I was like, okay, like, it's just like, I feel like I can't, I can't argue against that. I just have to go with that. <laughs> and so then they're just dumping fish in my, you know, like Rob Schneider and, uh, you know, stunt man or just throwing actual fish guts in my face and hair. And then people have to debone me for like an hour on the boat. And then we do it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I'm going to say this on your behalf. Um, that doesn't happen to you again. <laughs> I, I understand that you had to do this to, to in this movie, but I think after this movie, that's done. You know? Maybe. Now I can I can stand up for myself and <laughs> just I don't know I don't know what you're supposed to do in that situation though I mean just like say to make it all CGI or something I don't know uh, I'll tell you that I've been have doing the show for whatever 
you know, 27 years or something. And I've gotten to the point where I'll bitch about it and be passive aggressive. Yeah. And go like, okay, well, we just won't do it. And I'll go like, no, no, <laughs> it's fine. And then I put on, you know, a woman's thong and they drop me <laughs> into liquid diarrhea. I think I missed that episode. <laughs> That's such a good episode. <laughs> It was, uh, man, it was a theme episode. It was- oh, okay. Uh, Your personal was, uh, perversions. Oh, is that my perver- Oh, that's perver- Yeah, that's my perversion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>